Greetings, Captain. Scunship here. Hope you're doing well. I've not been doing many videos of late because, well, it's not been that much to really do videos about. So I thought I would do a little replay here. It was a game I recorded live because um, I had a 500% Silver Lions booster. So we are here on the, on the African Gulf and um, sort of taking a bit of a gold lineup of, of ships. I'm in the Davis and as you can see here, I'm also into a battle with uh, a little bit of an up tier. I could have spotted a, a Prince Origin and a few other ships. So I'll just go in and try and do my best. After all, I have a 500% booster, so let's see how badly it goes. I'm not expecting big things. I'm just kind of like many of you waiting for the new update to land. And at least I got the Texas to look forward to as a, a battleship. And uh, yeah, I think that, that could be good, good fun to play. Um, maybe slightly disappointed it's only a 6.7 ship, but I hope it, it is what it is. I think that that's going to be a little reshake of of the of the lines with the new uh, uh, premium battleships coming in and stuff like that. We're just going to have to uh, adjust to that. I'm just activating here um, anti mech because it's kind of worth doing if you've got a silver line booster. I mean, if you manage to to kill a few ships, that gives a, a few extra points. Um, now as I'm sailing in here, I'm just having a good look at uh, the sea point because I'm just basically hoping to spot some kind of enemy, uh, uh, you know, small ship and uh, got a boat there. And as you maybe also notice here, I'm switching to the VT shells because, uh, well, the explosion is off the means. It might just be lucky to uh, to get a hit. So we already got a resolution on him. I haven't hit him yet. And uh, I might just uh, might just be lucky. And there, I do hit him. Don't quite kill him, but as you can see, he uh, he's down to about five percent crew. So at least I did a majority damage. Um, so when you come in here, do you go to C or do you go to B? Doesn't matter too much, really. You just have to sort of read the battle. But as you can also see, I am uh, I'm trying to turn in here. As you can see, salvos are are coming in from afar. Uh, so basically I'm being shot at by cruisers, most likely, that is out by the enemy uh, A point. Probably because I spawned in early in the battle and some of the bots just decided to uh, to focus on me. Anyway, I uh, spot this um, probably a destroyer out here. I do actually need to do destroyer kills of over 5 kilometers away in the 27 uh, the yards challenge that they have uh, as, a, as a daily so I'm starting to make a little bit of progress on this ship here uh, but as you can see there I just got hit by the Prince Oregon and well there's not a whole lot you can do about that so you know you just have to get on with it at least we got the C point here so jump in the Moffat and uh, let's crack on you're not always instrumental into know which battle you get into. I mean, I probably would have made a mince meal of, of most ships had it been a a 5.0 battle. But as it is, uh, 5.7, I'll just try and do the best I can for the team. And of course, because I got a bit of a silver line booster going on, uh, there's no point in giving up now, is there? So there's another destroyer. So I'm just starting to uh, to go full tilt on him and hope for the best. Now for those of you that are more new to naval, I'm just trying to aim 0.2 kilometers. You know, see it's at 7.8, I'm shooting at 7.6 thereabouts. And just hope that uh, I'll hit there thereabouts. Now obviously you always try to angle your ship, as you can see right now, just so I get uh, maximum guns on, on target. Um, and that's why I'm, I'm sailing down towards C rather than straight over towards B simply just to get that extra bit of, of firepower. It essentially got out of range for me. I think, well, I'll just well shoot something else. You know, the more bullets you can fire while you are alive, the better. So uh, without having uh, 
you know, FSC done its, its range finding yet. I'm just shooting on it and I'm just, you, you kind of just have to shoot from the hip and just hope for the best and you'll soon get to, to learn roughly where to aim. I'm deliberately shooting a little bit behind the target, just aiming for the aft guns. I'm also, you know, having to think about where I'm actually sailing and looking. And I discover a uh, single enemy destroyer we have here. Probably a um, Moffat looking like. Well, definitely an American uh, destroyer of some sort. So, now he will probably try and aim for my rear. And so, I also need to get in to see. I will probably try and just go more straight towards him. I'm doing that now, and that's more to protect uh, being armor rack at the rear, really. So he's down to 33% down 91. So currently, I'm not looking too shabby here. Um, going straight at him, so trying to aim sort of 0.1 in front. He's protecting his back a little bit. But I'm trying to see if I can just aim at his rear. So he's down to 10% now. But one of my front guns have gone. So effectively, I don't have that much to shoot with. And I'm being a bit dumb here because I'm not pressing 7 to repair at the moment. Uh, so there we go. I finally uh, broke up. But it's a good 16 seconds before I get guns. And of course, he can do damage to me. Now I'm down to 26% crew. And uh, now I start firing again. So, with a bit of luck, he's down to 4% crew. I should be able to take him out. And there he goes. And actually, he was a Moffat. So, happy days. Ship down. Unfortunately, he was not while the little wager thing was on. So, didn't get the extra bonus point. And, oh, never saw that torpedo boat coming. So, uh, well played uh, by that guy there, for sure. So now I'm down to my final ship, but I do have enough point to spawn in a plane. And the P51D20NA is a good one because you get the two 1,000 pound bombs. And uh, yeah, I'll just have to go in and see if we can do some damage. Looking there quickly, we as best 50-50. Enemy has B, we still have C. Um, and we're currently winning slightly, but as you can see there, uh, we have a few more casualties than, than they have. Probably just some bot players have died off. So how much that actually matters or not, I, I don't really know. Just searching here to see if there is much I can do in case there was something I could defend. Now I'm staying particularly low because I'm kind of trying to stay out of enemy fire by staying below the the rocks and, and cliffs there. That that was a destroyer is dead so I'm now looking for a new target. Uh, so I decided to go for for this ship out here which I think is a cruiser. What's that? Might be a Kiev class. Drop the bombs. Roughly he does put me into planes uh, but I do manage to kill him, so that was quite good use of that plane. Uh, so that's a 5.7 ship down. And now I only got one ship left, so we're going to go over the Detroit. Uh, the Detroit was a premium that was came as a battle pass, I believe one of the early battle pass. And people were not thinking it would be very good in the start, but it's actually an okay ship to play. It's not not bad at all. Um, obviously, because it's a cruiser, a light cruiser, I, I have the top spawn here by A. And uh, the battle right now is still sort of uh, at the 50 50 stage. Now, this is a straightforward destroyer, and I make sure I use both my primary and secondary guns just to, to keep pounding him, basically. Do aim slightly at the, at the back, because if I can armor rack him there, then, you know, happy days. You see the enemy is now taking the A point. He's just flashing, so 
that is not only good news for us, but uh, we can just deal with what we can deal with. Got him down to 2% crew now, so hopefully it shouldn't be long before, regardless of what we shoot at, there we go, target destroyed. So that's fine, and then well, let's look at the, the next one, and we got a Oregon here. Some torpedoes in the water, but the Oregon just got taken out, so that was good news. We got another destroyer set over here, so we'll start firing at that, and we'll simply just try and see if I can get into uh, to the A point. And right now the C point is flashing, which means that you probably uh, are not looking too too good at the moment. The enemies definitely have the potentially upper hand, although we still currently got more tickets, but if they get three reds, then that's uh, that will go down quite quickly. Anyway, this destroyer only have 11% crew left, so I'm just keep pounding at it. And again, I'm aiming for the rear. So, I got an assist, so that's not bad. So, at this point, I'm trying to encourage the crew to attack the B point. I think it's always useful to use in-game commands for that. I mean, sometimes people will uh, notice and sometimes they don't. I decide to send a plane towards B and then sail towards A. It's amazing how much you can do yourself in a battle if, you, if you've got a little bit of luck. I think this might be a cruiser over here and I'm just shooting at it because, I mean, it's AA will take out my plane probably if I'm, I'm not careful. So if I can help take down that ship, that will certainly be, be useful. I think my plane is now gone, so you know that didn't survive the journey, and that's that's fine. Uh, it's just always worth giving it a shot. You can see I'm just getting into uh, the A point now. You can see the the buoys that I'm just just passing. This the ship you're shooting at is down to 11% crew, but it's behind those rocks now, so difficult to deal with. I decided I'll just try and, and sail down uh, along the the cliffs here. I'll be just waiting to make sure I take the A point. Now with the Detroit you do get two planes, so I do have a bit of a, a second chance here. For some reason it takes me a couple of seconds to realize that, you know, quite frankly, I have to launch the one plane to the one side and the other plane to the other side, which makes perfect sense, but for some reason I was trying to launch it out to the right, trying to avoid the cliffs, and it wouldn't really turn over in that direction. Anyway. I've recovered from my mistake. Now I've got the plane heading in the right direction and I'm just letting it do its thing while I'm just uh, correcting the the course a little bit on the Detroit and just I'm just gonna sail straight down to to be myself. Now it gonna be a bit tight now because they still got two points and as you can see the blue line is flashing pretty well. So what will it be like? And, uh, yeah, that's a present danger certainly for any uh, small plane, that uh, little torpedo boat there, and we also got a destroyer, which will probably have some form of AA. So, uh, working on the destroyer sounds like a plan. Again, I'm not waiting for the fire control system, I'm just shooting from the hip. I always find like if you're going at speed, shooting towards the bow of the ship. Is, uh, is 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 very good. Anyway, switching over to my plane now because I can see I was getting close to it. I just need to lose some speed here. And as you can see, I'm trying to get under the cliffs because clearly there is uh, various bits of uh, AA and shots going towards me. But if nothing else, if I can just decap it, at least that will sort of reset the clock here uh, and keep it even between the two teams. So I'm just using speed here as, as much as I can. Uh, I did think about whether I should try and go to the cliffs, but I didn't want to damage it and, uh, and then die that way. So I'm just slowing down as much as I can. At least it, uh, 
I'm just about now to take the B point. This is good. Hopefully I can take the B point. So just sitting here, but huh, we got an enemy ship here and he just shot. So I'm just well, using Alt G to get some smoke off, but can't exactly reverse back in a plane. Um, almost getting B and then I didn't get it anyway but the main point was the decap because that sort of reset the clock for us a little bit and as you can see on the bottom right on the mini map there uh, we also on the main screen uh, is uh, a few ships that is now trying to be helpful and getting into B so uh, that's looking more positive now we might sort of be able to to turn the tide here uh, a little bit so yeah Never give up, always try your hardest and with a bit of luck we can grab B. It also looks positive that we've got some kind of ship sailing towards C. So that should that should do nicely. Just trying to tell the rest of the team to a taxi, because you know sometimes you just people just sail straight past it because you know, I don't know why, but they do. Uh, I'm just telling people to try and defend B and, and A and then, you know. Whether they're going to listen to me or not, at least I have sort of set my piece, right? So one of our organs there kills an enemy Bravi, so that's that's also good. And there's a plane coming in up high. So I'll just let people know it's there. Uh, hopefully the automated AA will do. Now I don't have any VT shells uh, at the ready here, so I'm just... I'm just using main cannons. Actually, I could maybe have shot uh, switch to second days, and maybe then I could have gone to VT shells. I can't actually remember. I don't think at at the time that I really considered that too much of an option. But I can see the Prince Oregon firing a lot of AA, so it would be better than what I can do anyway. Put it that way. And we are now taking the C point. So now we got the upper hand, and that's good. I think that's a TU-2 or something like that. Uh, it's just ducking and diving and, and trying to do the best it can. Uh, but yeah, I think that that plane has seen better days. And that my AA is getting the odd hit in as well. I'll just continue towards C because why not? There's only one ship there of ours. C point here is being taken, so there's something on it somewhere, but I don't really know where. I think we can just maybe spot that little, yeah, so the automatic guns find it, but the game is almost over, and before I actually can get a decisive shot off, it uh, the battle ends, but, you know, it was a, a good outcome nonetheless, and with the 500% booster there, the 590,000 silver lines is not too shabby for for 20, 20 minutes of work, even if uh, it wasn't up here. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little battle, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.